I've had two donuts today. So if I'm, um, you know, I'm a little weird, a little, 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 it's the donuts. I blame the donuts. So we're doing a little clothing shopping haul try on thing. Um, I feel like there are times in my life where I have a really good control over my shopping addiction. Um, right now is not that time in my life. Yes, you can psychoanalyze me and say, well, when people shop, it's because they have problems that they're trying to comfort. Yes. And I'm the type of person when I buy something, I imagine the outfits that I'm going to wear it with. And I imagine the life that I'm going to have when I wear it. And then I remember, oh yeah, I'm still in major limbo right now. I probably won't wear these because I'm a naked mole rat living in a basement and I never go outside and see the sun. I get really excited to get them and then it makes, then it reminds me that um, I'm not doing anything with my life right now and I'm kind of like, <sighs> I don't know what my life is. But I feel like I have purchased so many amazing things. I want to tell the people. Let's jump into the clothes. So all these, I will be linking them all below. Easy access. A few weeks ago, we were going to go visit Portland. So I decided to be on the hunt, on the lookout for a raincoat. I found this one at Old Navy. It's like a raincoat slash workout looking jacket. I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'10". I'm actually only 5'9". But I like my jackets to go totally cover my bum and to go like mid thigh and it's really hard for me to find things that are that long. I love where it hits. I feel like it's super slimming. Keeps you protected from the rain and it's kind of like a windbreaker. Next is another coat that is also from Old Navy. So I wanted to invest in like a nice classy really warm coat. Um, that I could like wear to church or to work and look very professional in. They have it in black, gray, green. I got it in a size large because I want to be able to wear super chunky sweaters underneath it to layer this on top and for my elbows to not feel like they're busting out. Like, you know, you know, obviously I want my biceps to constantly be feeling like they're busting out of my clothing because I'm so strong, but my crease right here, Mm -mm. I don't want nothing busting out of there. I don't want anything busting out of a crease. Ah, ah, rewind. Ah. I love the where it hits. I love the buttons. I love the collar. I feel so cool when I wear it because it doesn't fold down, so it's like a popped collar. But it's not actually popped, so you don't look like a douchebag when you pop it. But it's just there. But it's so high quality. It's like it reminds me of something that you get at like the Gap. So beautiful. I love it. Ugh. It's from American Eagle. I love the like elevated classier looking tie-dye. Not to say that this sweater is technically classy, but for tie-dye it's classy. I'll wear it for a few days like at night. Like it's my pajama top slash going out top slash lounge top. But then as it comes closer to when I need to wash it, I'll start wearing it when I work out. Next is this sweatshirt that I got from Target basically just a regular sweatshirt, but I've never been a t-shirt or sweatshirt kind of girl. Um, I'm just not cool enough to be that chill in my life, but I've been seeing all of these really fashionable-ish looking oversized sweatshirts. And then sticking with Target, we go to this sweatshirt and it is so cozy and so soft. Wanted a more cropped but oversized sweatshirt. Um, and this one is great because it's like almost like a loose cow neck, but a turtle. It's loose. It's loose. To loose. To loose. Yeah. Oh, another shirt from Target. Um, and I love this one because it's like t-shirt on top, high neck, which I love. I really like the sleeves and I think the bottom is so fun. Now we're going to move on to pants. So I found these and I got them for $20. They are a different kind of look. It's not for everyone. Um, and even when I see them on people, I'm like, those don't look good on you, but there's this thing that's kind of drawing me to them. What in one of the my biggest holdups of these jeans is how weird it makes my crotch area look. And it's like, I have a very normal looking crotch area, but in these pants, 
That looks a little questionable. I'm gonna zoom in on that crotch shot. Oh yeah. Hello, Miss Camille Toi. That's real cute. No, it's not cute at all. When I see people wearing them, I think their crotch looks weird, but I still want them. I almost completely forgot to talk about my new black high-waisted skinny jeans that I got from H&M, and I ordered three of them from H&M.com. I'll make sure and link the exact pair I got below, and these were by far the stretchiest um, and most high-waisted and just in general most comfortable jeans that were out of the three that I got, and I love them. They're super tight, but I feel comfortable in them still. Now on to shoes. First pair we'll talk about is actually what I'm wearing right now. Let's see if we can. Ah! Look how amazing these are. So I got these ones off of Amazon. I wanted ones that had like where you could see the grip on the bottom and I wanted it on the heel too, but you know, some things have to give, but they have zippers on the side. They're so comfortable and they're three and a half inches. Um, every heel that I've purchased within the last Two years, I think, has been a chubby heel. I feel like I could wear them all freaking day long. Oh, look at that, another chubby heel. And I found these for $20 in my size. Look at that heel. The chub on that is unreal. The flower print is a beautiful thing. They're so comfortable. What? Another chubby heel? The point is the perfect pointiness. The color is the perfect colorness. For how high they are, they are comfortable, but they are bloody freaking high. So like, I have to think a little bit when I walk. So this is like a, I'll wear these to church or on a date. Last is my slipper. And knowing that hobo chic slash just homeless is a favorite style of mine, I wanted slippers that I could also wear outside of the house. So I made sure to find some that had like a real sole on the bottom. The last thing I purchased is this beautiful rug. I have like another love-hate relationship with it. It's like 98% love, but when you're spending so much money on something, you're kind of like, uh, uh, my love is harder to give. The reasons I love it, it's red. I love the print. It's bold. Things that I don't like about it is that it's so massive. I wanted this rug in a five by seven, but it was literally sold out in every other size than an eight by 10. And so I was like, I'm just gonna get it. The rug makes me do a lot of happy things. When I see it, I get really happy. almost forgot these earrings. I finally found them at Charming Charlie's. So ever since I cut my hair, earrings have become my favorite accessory to wear because it's kind of like the thing that makes you look like a girl again. And when I would put studs in with my short hair, with my hair being bleached, I totally looked like a like character from NSYNC. Not a character. I totally felt like a, a boy from a boy band. So I hope you got some good inspiration. No, just like hit that red subscribe button because, yeah, because, because you like me. Mm. Mm -hmm.